hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of n if we have square root of n is equals to 3 times of n and we solve this problem for all the values of n so here first we need to find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution of the given equation and which of the roots are extraneous root also uh, at the end i can explain the difference between solution and extraneous root so please watch this video at the end further we solve this problem for two methods i hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section now we move towards our first method and in the first method we need to take a squaring on both of the sides so when you will take squaring it will be written as square root of n and its whole square equals to 3 times of n and its whole square so further in the next step uh, you see in the left hand side uh, this 2 and this square root are gone and we will get here n is equals to so here we need to apply this square separately on both of these values it will become 3 square multiplied by n square and now here further in the next step we have n is equals to this 3 square and 3 square becomes 9 times of n square and now here for the values of n we need to move this n to the right hand side and it will be written as 9 times of n square this is positive n when we move it into the right hand side it will become negative n and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here further in the next step you see here both of these terms involve n uh, so that we will take common n from here and we get the remaining values are here you get this is 9n minus from here we get 1 is equals to 0 and now here in the next step we need to divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write n is equal to 0 and the second case is we write 9n minus 1 is equal to 0. So from, uh, you see here this is the our uh, first root of the given equation and from here we uh, need to find the value of n for this we move this minus 1 to the right hand side and it will be written as 9n is equal to plus 1. So for the values of n we need to divide both of the sides by 9. So when you divide by 9 it will be written as 9 and divided by 9 equals 1 over 9. This 9 is cancelled out by this 9 and we get here our n is equals to 1 over 9. So this is the value of n second root of n okay so here we get two roots uh, of the given equation these are 0 and 1 over 9 and uh, now here in the next step we need to verify that uh, which of the root are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root so for this we need to copy down given question statement here it is square root of n equals to 3 times of n so this is our given question statement and now here we verify above both the roots but first we verify n is equals to 0 so when you put n equals to 0 on both of the sides it will be written as square root of 0 equals to 3 times of 0 and we know that square root of 0 is 0 and 3 times of 0 is also 0 so this shows that the value of n is equals to 0 is satisfied over given question statement so this means that n is equals to 0 be the uh, first solution of the given equation and now here we need to verify our uh, second root and the second root is n is equals to 1 over 9 so we put n is equals to 1 over 9 to the given question statement uh, so after substituting this it will be written as 1 over 9 square root equals to 3 times of 1 over 9 and now you see here uh, the square root of 1 is 1 and the square root of 9 is 3 and here we cancel this term this is 3 times of 3 becomes 9 we get 1 over 3 so again left hand side is equals to right hand side uh, so you see that 
both of the roots or both of the values of n is satisfied over given question statement so the solution set of a given question is 0 and 1 over 9 so this is the solution set which we get here from first method and now uh, we again solve this problem for second method and in second method uh, here first uh, we need to copy down given question statement here so our given question statement is that uh, this is square root of n is equals to 3 times of n. So in second method uh, here first uh, we need to focus on this n and we know about that if you have a we write a as square root of a multiplied by square root of a. So according to this rule, we write this n as square root of n multiplied by square root of n. So it will be written as square root of n equals to, we write this n according to this rule as square root of n multiplied by square root of n. And now further we divide both of the sides by square root of n. So when you divide by square root of n, it will be written as square root of n divided by square root of n equals to 3 times of square root of n multiplied by square root of n and it is divided by square root of n so these are cancelled out by each other and we will get here 1 these are also cancelled out by each other and we will get here square root of n so now we need to take the scaling on both of the sides for the values of n and we know that the square of 1 is 1, the square of 3 is 9 and the square of n is these are gone and you get here only n. And we move this 9 to the right hand side and we get the value of n is equals to 1 over 9. So from second method you get the value of n is 1 over 9 but in the first method we already verified that this value satisfied our given question statement. So this is the our uh, final answer of this question and now here I can explain the difference between solution and ex extraneous roots. So you know about that uh, the solution uh, the roots which satisfy our given question statement is called the solution and the roots which does not satisfy our given question statement is called the extraneous root of the given equation. So this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.